Glad you guys are trying that. So two, two stretches um, with the shoulder that you can also do. So uh, without a dowel over So probably a pretty common one you've seen is just a cross body stretch. So you're kind of pulling it and then uh, pulling arm. But just one cue that we want you to probably to, to try out for so many times is retracting your shoulder blade before you're just going like that. Because you're, you're going to feel a little bit of stretch, but once you pull that shoulder blade back into position and then you try to pull, you're going to feel a much deeper stretch into that. You're obviously not going to get as much range, but just kind of feeling the hand that kind of back the rotator cuff and you your shoulder. Together. So kind of just a, a tidbit for, for that one over here. Um, another one for um, your shoulder range is uh, a sleeper stretch. So this one, you're going to be lying down almost like a fetal position, like that, and then your arm's going to be 90 degrees outside um, in front of you like that. So it's like you're sleeping, but you're, you're going to take your arm and you're going to put a little pressure onto your hand like that. So you're working on internal rotation over here. So you'll feel that right into the, the joint capsule. You want to be a little bit careful this one. You want to like mash that down over there. So just nice and easy um, feeling that through over there. So those are some easy stretches that you can do with that. Do you guys want to try the sleeper stretch or that cross 